you. With spring break underway across the country, a lot of travelers out on the road. That means, of course, we're going to be stopping at our favorite fast food chains. But as we know, those can be a minefield if you're trying to stick to a diet. So registered dietitian, today tastemaker and editor at Women's Health, Carrie Glassman, is here to help us with the ultimate fast food cheat sheet. These are the top <laughs> 10 fast food restaurants and the healthiest thing to get on the menu. Right. When you have no other options. Okay. okay. <laughs> we have to remember that. Okay. So you're at Starbucks. Yes. I don't want you to go for those things that are disguised as breakfast but really are cake and I want you to go for the oatmeal mm. and take it naked almost naked even when you add the dried blueberries to the oatmeal you're gonna add 13 grams of sugar okay so instead just add the nuts and you'll get a little bit of protein and healthy fat and a little more fiber in there. okay but no milk and sugar and stuff right but you don't okay. it's made with water Dunkin nothing donuts. else exactly. now this looks tasty okay so many people go for those flatbread those veggie egg white flatbread things yes but the old school egg and cheese is actually gonna be the better option much less sodium and three grams more more of fiber. So old school with the egg and cheese, or mind you, being in high school. Now, I knew this was going to happen. We'd get to the fast food restaurant and you'd say, get the salad. Is no, that what's no, happening no, no. here? Actually, no. What I'm saying is if you're craving that burger, yes. don't go for the salad. You're going to end up eating a big, large thing of fries. So instead, go for the Whopper. Okay, the, go Whopper, for the Whopper Junior. Junior. Skip the mayo, okay? And then that's going to actually have a lot less sodium also than many other burger options. And get the salad on the side to help fill you up with a little bit of water and fiber volume. And dressing on the, the side, burger. right? Exactly. Salads can get very and dressing on the side. This okay. is Wendy's. So Wendy's has a lot of healthy salads and they can trip you up. Instead, what does that mean, healthy halo? Okay, what I mean is they appear to be healthy. Oh, okay, so okay. their apple pecan salad, for example, has 40 grams of sugar, where this grilled chicken wrap right here has three grams of sugar. And you're getting 20 grams of protein, which is going to help satisfy you. Okay. So keep it simple and go for that. All right. Now here we have a salad. So McDonald's. So here, bacon ranch. Can you believe I'm actually saying no, this No, and is I okay. do I see bacon. So there's just a little bit of bacon. There's 42 grams of protein in here, again, to fill you up, and four types of greens in here. So this is going to be the best option at McDonald's. If you have salad dressing, do you have a rule of thumb how much to put on there? I mean, I usually say keep it on the side. You can dunk a little bit or even just add a teaspoon and drizzle it on. Okay. I mean, or be really good and carry a little bit of, you know, a healthier version in your pocket. Okay, that's dedication. <laughs> that, that is, is dedication. dedication there. Okay, so when you go to KFC, I mean, you know there's a lot of fried food there. Yes. Go for the nuggets that are grilled. They're not just for kids. These are grilled because they look fried. I mean, Chick-fil-A, I'm sorry. Chick oh, Chick-fil-A. Chick okay, sorry. These look fried. Yep, so they do, but they make them exact same ones in a grilled version. Oh, okay. So you can go for the grilled version. We're showing you the bad option there. Okay, I thought so. And I they, was like, am I crazy? These look delicious. And so they also, though, Chick-fil-A also has taken it up a notch, mm -hmm. and they've added this superfood salad, which is kale and broccolini. So go for that small order, grilled, and then add the super greens right there. Okay, now we're on to KFC. Sorry, now we're at KFC. Okay, KFC, everybody thinks, oh, I mean, I was at KFC. I had to order fried food. Yeah. Not the case. Don't use it as an excuse. You can get grilled chicken breast on the bone. I mean, that looks pretty good, right? Yeah, it does. With an order of green beans on the side. Again, a little water and fiber volume in those veggies to help fill you up. Or yep. get even two pieces of this if you have to fill up even more. Okay, this is where I break down. What is this, Taco Bell? Yeah, so... Love I mean, the Taco Bell. I know. Well, by the way, Mexican food is so satisfying, right? But these Love are the, uh, the steak al fresco tacos. I'm not a calorie counter, but they are 160 calories each. So even if you go for two, you're not board or even stick to one and add a little bit of plant protein from an order of black beans on the side where you're going to get five grams of fiber and a lot of antioxidants in there. So you can balance that meal out even better. Okay, Chipotle. Okay, so Chipotle, I happen to like, is probably one of my favorite options here because you can start with a salad bowl instead of the rice bowl mm. you, or a burrito. You can start with salad and then top it how you like. So here we've got black beans, we've got grilled chicken, salsa is loaded with nutrients, obviously it adds so much flavor. Very satisfying and really going to be a pretty good choice here. Last but not least, okay. sandwiches at Subway. So I what do we do? I don't love the refined bread here, the refined processed carbohydrates in this big old bread here, but it is the cleanest, most simple option. It's just packed with vegetables. So you're not getting any processed meat in there. I just packed with vegetables and, and the bread. And I'm guessing.